Hello, my name is Daphne Koren Cohen and I'm a tour guide in Israel. We're looking at a city that is altogether only one square kilometer. But in it are places that are so, so holy, not for millions, but for billions of people around the world. A famous Israeli writer named Meir Shalev once wrote, The land of Israel. You can never throw a rock here without hitting a sacred place or a crazy man. I don't know what he meant about crazy man, but actually there is a mental phenomenon named Jerusalem syndrome that people who arrive here start to feel like they are the Messiah, that they have been chosen. So be careful, it might happen to you. Walking now through the famous Via Dolorosa, the way of suffering in Latin, where Jesus is walking his last walk, carrying the cross. There are 14 stations like that, marked with these metal numbers. In the first one, Jesus is trialed by Pontius Pilate, the Roman ruler. We are now in the eighth station, where the women of Jerusalem are looking at him, crying for his faith. The last stations are at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, where Jesus is crucified and buried. Behind me now is the holiest place for Christians all over the world, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, where according to the Christian belief, Jesus was crucified, buried, and resurrected. In the days of Jesus, 2,000 years ago, we were now outside the city walls. The Romans used to crucify here people that rejected them, different criminals, and right near it, there was a burial cave where people were buried in niches. Remind you that Jesus himself was Jewish. He was born as a Jew and died as a Jew. And we actually find Jewish burial caves from 2000 years ago, exactly like the one that was inside all over Jerusalem and the Judean mountains. I'm sitting here by the Western Wall the wall that surrounded the Temple Mount 2,000 years ago. Above us is the Temple Mount, and there used to stand the second Jewish temple 2,000 years ago, and the first temple built by King Solomon 3,000 years ago. In the exact same location stands the Dome of the Rock that was built here in 691 and is marking the third holiest place for Muslims all over the world. According to the Muslim tradition, this is the place where Muhammad the Prophet is making his night journey from Mecca in Saudi Arabia to Al-Aqsa, the furthest place. And Al-Aqsa, the furthest place, is seen in the center of the Dome of the Rock. He is ascending to heaven and is meeting with God and the prophets. So what do we have here? We have the same rock and on it is the Holy of Holies of the first temple, the Holy of Holies of the second temple, and the Dome of the Rock, and the place which where Muhammad ascended to heaven, all in the same spot. Is this just a crazy coincidence? 